Welcome to The Know, I'm Brian. I'm John. Could it be that Marvel Spider-Man might not be as pretty as it looks in all those trailers? Fuck! There's a possibility. There's been a bunch of talk online lately about whether or not Spider-Man's graphics have been downgraded in the final product for the PlayStation 4 compared to what's been shown online. Uh-oh, we got a graphics controversy on our hands. <laughs> Uh, while the game isn't out quite yet, a lot of screenshots have been going around Twitter showing side-by-side -side comparisons of the console version of the game versus footage from the trailers. That's because reviewers have been getting early copies of the game, so we're starting to see it out in the wild. Maybe people shared some screenshots before they're supposed to? Yeah, and now a lot of people are claiming that Insomniac Games might have overpromised in the graphics department compared to what has actually been delivered. Do we have another Watch Dogs? Is that we don't, what's going We don't on? speak of that. We don't oh. speak of that. Uh, yeah, that game got, got a ton of heat after showing an amazing trailer at E3 in 2012 that didn't much look like the final product in 2014. Now for their part, regarding Spider-Man, Insomniac Games vigorously denies that there's been any graphical downgrade, but we'll get to that in a second. First, let's talk about how this all started because a lot of it has to do with puddles. These aren't the ones we were promised. Well, these nope. aren't the puddles we were promised? Mm, no! Right. So, Puddlegate started after some people started tweeting out some comparison screenshots, which seemed to show some pretty decent, significant differences. One pair of screenshots from Kofi, the creator of the Press Start podcast, showed what looked like some graphical compromises, both in the reflective water puddles and Spider-Man himself, with the console version looks a little flatter than the trailer version. Yeah, so this prompted an outcry from fans who posted more pictures of puddles. <laughs> because no one has anything else better to do. <laughs> Puddles. Uh, which they look like they've been scaled back in the final game, uh, looking less reflective, and in some cases, the puddles appear to have been removed altogether. Another Twitter user, Pencil Sharper, tweeted another side-by-side -side comparison of Spidey to Insomniac's community director, James Stevenson, writing, you should be ashamed of the downgrade. Ashamed. The internet, man, the internet. <laughs> uh, so all this prompted responses from both Stevenson and Insomniac who have vigorously denied that they've downscaled the game. They say that in the comparison shots, it's all about the light source. And they say that in a lot of these, the sun has shifted in the game world, which leads to a very different look. Stevenson responded to the you should be ashamed tweet saying, it's not a downgrade. The sun moved, it's in shadow now. That video is overly compressed and crushing dark detail. Looks great at full res. And Insomniac responded to Puddlegate saying, it's just a change in the puddle size. There's no downgrade at all. And then in a soon to be classic, they added, we have plenty of other places with tons of puddles. This is what games developers have to deal with. Tons this is what they have puddles. to do. Whether or not they're in the right and the wrong right now, this is the conversation they have to right. have. Fight about puddles. Woo! But the light explanation didn't sit well with everyone. Others pointed out that in some side-by-sides, there are some highlights missing from Spider-Man's costume. There's less detail on the walls and the backgrounds look more washed out. Throw it in the garbage. It's yeah. done. Stevenson, though, insisted still nothing was different. He wrote in another reply, I talked to the technical and engineering and art staff and looked at the live code of this from the final build. There was no downgrade. Uh, we reached out to Insomniac for a follow-up, but I haven't heard back. Of course. If it turns out Spider-Man is downgraded, wouldn't be the first time this has happened. Lots and lots of games over the years have been accused of showing off really pretty trailers and gameplay footage only for the final product to look a little bit less than what was promised. Even some really well-regarded games like The Witcher 3 mm -hmm. have been accused of getting the downgrade treatment. One of the biggest examples, like like we said, is Watch Dogs, which is an open world action game that wowed everyone when Ubisoft showed off a gameplay video in E3 of 2012. Uh, the streets of Chicago looked beautiful and everyone was amazed, but when the game finally came out in 2014, it looked far less pretty than what was promised. Some people even dug around in the game's PC files and found an option that let them beef up the visuals, but still, nothing was as pretty as that E3 demo. Digital Foundry even did an investigation into whether or not there was a Watch Dogs graphics downgrade, and they determined that yeah, Ubisoft did make some adjustments. They concluded that Ubisoft overestimated the power that it could get out of consoles like the PlayStation 4 and wrote, the biggest differences that stand out come from the use of depth of field, volumetric mist, fog and atmospherics, lavish to the extreme in the older version, less so in the final games. It suggests the developers were expecting significantly more graphics bandwidth than actually materialized. I feel like volumetric mist is a really good drag name. 
Totally. Still though, it didn't seem to hurt the game's sales. Watch Dogs broke the record for biggest first day sales for a Ubisoft game and went on to ship more than 10 million copies. But Watch Dogs was hardly the only game to get accused of being downgraded. Final Fantasy 13, clearly my favorite Final Fantasy, also drew similar complaints back in the day. So did Dark Souls 2. Is that your favorite Final Fantasy? I have never played a single oh. Final Fantasy game in my life. I was like, cause that's not the best one. <laughs> <laughs> this is fake news we're giving yeah. out. Rainbow Six Siege was also accused of this, so was Forza Motorsport 5. Of course, when it comes to E3 demos, a lot of them are produced using high-end PCs. But still, it's hard to blame players for feeling a little ripped off when a developer doesn't deliver what it promised. Back to Spider-Man, DualShockers did its own investigation and found there was no downgrade. Executive news editor Giuseppe Nelva tweeted, it's obviously just a change in the position of the sun. Exactly the same happened with Infamous Second Sun, and it turned out to be a visual masterpiece. I'm calling BS on this, the sun doesn't move. That's true, it's the earth that moves. Yeah, so the whole thing's wrong. Everyone's wrong. We've been downgraded and we've been lied what to. What else have they lied to us about? Yeah, so we'll see if Spider-Man lives up to the trailers and if fans feel like they got what they paid for. Uh, it releases on September 7th, so the wait isn't much longer. What do you guys think of the accusations of Spider-Man being downgraded? Overblown or do people have legitimate concerns? Let us know in the comments. And for all your Spider-Man news, be sure to like this video and if you're new around here, subscribe to The Know. Welcome to The Know, I'm Brian. And I'm John. Could it be that Marvel Spider-Man not my, fuck. <laughs> 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 Felt it, felt it coming.